Okay, Jen, I'm going to um, show you something using one of these. You've seen me do prediction effects before. I have. Now, most of the time, if I'm trying to predict a card, I use one of these. Not many magicians have got these. They're very expensive, and they're really hard to come by. They're called phantom cards. Take a look at it. Now, at the moment, it's just got a blank face. Right. But they're saying very special, these phantom cards do. I always keep them safe in my wallet, so if I can get that back in there. Like so, we'll sit down, we'll leave that there, we'll come back to it in a moment. What I need you to do for me is, uh, so I'm going to show you how this works, is I need you to pick a card. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to do it the standard way. I'm actually going to get you just to name any card. So you know it's a totally free choice, actually. Um, so you know it's a totally free choice. So anyone you like. Okay, nine of clubs. Nine of clubs, good choice. Uh, do me a favour, if you take the pen, just sign your name across the face of the nine of clubs, big and bold. And the reason I get people to sign cards is just in case a lot of people actually forget what card they've picked. So as long as it's got your signature, we'll know it's yours. Okay. Now, bearing in mind, you could have chose any card. You could have had a ten of diamonds, a jack of spades, the eight of clubs, the two of clubs, uh, the queen of hearts, any of those. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the phantom card actually plays a big part now because you chose the card. It was a totally free choice. Yeah? yeah? yeah. There's no way I could have made you pick that no. card. So at the moment, the card in here, remember it's got a, a blue back. So if your card had a red back, but this card is actually taking on the guise of your chosen playing card. It's still got its blue back, but take it out and have a look at the face and show it to the camera. Oh, it's mine. Well done. And that is the Phantom card. Chris, yeah. um, inside my wallet here, actually in the uh, zipper compartment, I've written a prediction. Okay, so a prediction of a playing card. Mm -hmm. uh, just as a little visual aid, we're going to use a uh, deck of cards. And I want you to think of any playing card. Don't let anything we've done before influence you in any way. But first of all, I just want you to uh, to think of the suit for me. Okay. Okay, so what suit are you thinking of? Thinking of hearts. You're thinking of a heart. Okay. Uh, most people, when they think of a card, they actually think of the ace. You're not thinking of the ace, are you? Not thinking of the ace. Okay, no. what, what's the value you're thinking of? Uh, I'm thinking of the three of hearts. The three of hearts? Okay, you sure you don't want a four? No, definitely. You, you want three. three of hearts, definitely. You don't want to change your mind? No. Perfect. Now, remember I said I, I wrote a prediction? Yes. Um, it's actually inside my wallet, as I said. Now, you could have picked any, any one of the cards. Yes. But the, uh, in my zipper compartment here, I've written the number three. <laughs> I've written the word of... Nice. And the word hearts. Free of hearts. You never really have any choice. Chris, we're going to try a little experiment in uh, telepathy. Okay. Inside my wallet here, I've got what's called a target card. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and transmit psychically or telepathically the value of that card to you. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it in stages, which I think actually makes it easier for you to receive. So the first stage is I'm going to try and transmit the value of the card. It can be anything ace through king. So first of all, I'm going to transmit the value. I'm thinking of it now. What value comes into mind? Uh, seven. It's a seven. Mm. Okay. Now, is it a red seven or a black seven? Uh, red seven. It's a red seven. Yeah. Okay, now bear in mind, you could have chose any one of 52 playing cards. Yeah. What seven are you thinking of? Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Yes. Okay. And you could have chose any one of those. Mm. Yeah? But you chose the seven of diamonds. It was a totally free choice. Yes. And you could have chose any one of these cards. Yes. Um, remember I showed you at the beginning the uh, blue back card that was in there? Yes. My target card has been, and always is, Hey, seven. seven of diamonds. Excellent. And that is any thought of card in wallet. 